How we doing everybody? Welcome to the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C. If this is your first time here, thanks for coming by. If you're looking for the latest in whiskey news, reviews, and all things whiskey and bourbon, you have come to the right place. So please hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that bell notification so you know exactly when I'm putting a new video out. Today I'm pretty excited because we are tackling one of my favorite distilleries in the world, which is Wild Turkey. So today what I want to do is review two of my favorites from Wild Turkey and put them head to head. We have Russell's Reserve Single Barrel and Wild Turkey Rare Breed. These two are always welcome on my shelf and I've gotten a lot of questions about which one is better or which one do I like. I always recommend Wild Turkey 101. It's always been one of my favorites of all time. but. While I love 101, these two Wild Turkey bourbons offer some amazing amped up flavors from Wild Turkey that I think is something or has something a little bit for everyone. So let's meet our turkeys. So first up we have Russell's Reserve Single Barrel, which is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey that uses the classic Wild Turkey mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. And it's matured in heavy alligator char, new American oak barrels. Um, each of those honey barrels is then bottled at a beautiful 110 proof, and it's non-chill filtered to preserve maximum flavor. With a no age statement, these barrels are specifically chosen to reflect the best barrels, and like a lot of single barrels delicious bourbons. So like most single barrels though, each bottling may have slightly different characteristics, but with that said, Russell Reserve is pretty consistent and delicious, and it's only around 40 to 50 bucks. Our next bottle up is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. This particular batch was released in spring 2017 and is one of my favorite rare breed bottles. As is always the case, the Kentucky Straight Bourbon is bottled at a cast strength, which varies from batch to batch. This one is offered at 116.8 proof. This batch release also comes with a cosmetic change a little bit from with a new label and a different bottle shape than their previous releases. This bourbon also uses the classic Wild Turkey mash bill of that 75% corn, 30% rye and 12% malted barley and is also non-chill filtered for a price around 45 to 50 bucks as well. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour each of these into their own glass. I'm gonna nose them, taste them, and we'll find out which flavors come out on top for me personally and then maybe give you guys some advice on which flavors might be the best for you. So let's go. Now, as I said, the Wild Turkey Rare Breed is bottled at 116.8 proof. Ooh, that had a nice pop to it, squeaky. So let's pour that one here. This has a number four alligator char, which basically means they char it, they char the inside of the barrel to a pretty high extent where that inside is almost as rough as alligator skin and really allows those bourbon flavors to seep in and out of the barrel. Now we're gonna pour this Russell's Reserve. Now the Russell's Reserve single barrel is 55% alcohol, which is 110 proof, so it's a little bit lower than the rare breed. All right guys, so let's start with the rare breed. So in for the nose. So the rare breed has a really nice rye spiciness to it. You really taste that higher rye mash bill in there. It's got a really nice creamy vanilla scent to it. It's really good. You do get the heat on the nose. There is a good heat to it being at that 116.8 proof, but there's a lot of really nice creamy vanilla sweetness behind it. It's really good. This smells very similar to Wild Turkey 101, except definitely amped up a little bit more. Nice spicy rye kick. I'm still getting, one of my favorite notes I always get on Wild Turkey is that little bit of cinnamon, which I just love in, in bourbons, especially the Wild Turkey. There's a hint of cherry there. Mm, really good, really good stuff. All right, let's go in for the nose on the Russell's Reserve. Wow, so, so the nose on this is actually pretty different. It's, it's actually very delicate. It's 110 proof bourbon, but it's got a lot of delicate notes in here. There's a lot more oak and cinnamon, and there's, a, there's definitely a baking spice character to it, almost like a uh, Christmas fruitcake. It's really good. 
Now, what I'm getting in here too is really interesting. It's, uh, you guys ever go to a bar and they, it's a lot of, it's a lot of uh, something they're putting in a lot of drinks now. Where they take an orange peel and they almost light it on fire and almost smoke it and then drop it in your drink. I'm getting kind of a smoked orange peel flavor to it. It's really nice. Mm. This definitely has more of a fruit characteristic, more of a baking spice uh, vibe to it. Whereas this is more of your, your amped up Wild Turkey 101 flavors with that cinnamon and cherry. This is definitely a little bit more, this, I think this has a little bit more depth of flavor. So I guess on the nose, I would have to give the nod to the Russell's Reserve. So let's go in for a taste. Let's start with the Rare Breed. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Man, so the heat definitely hits you at that high proof. Oh, but the finish is so long and warming. You get hit with a lot of vanilla up front, creamy vanilla and brown sugars. So good. You can really taste that, that high proof, that high charred oak character to it. It's such a nice, but it's not overly oaked. There's such a nice sweetness to it overlaying that oak. It's really, really nice. All right, let's go in for that second sip. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. I mean, Wild Turkey 101 is one of my favorites. So this is really just coming off like a really nice amped up version of that. The finish is longer. It's got more of a spicy and a nice rye kick to it. But you're getting that really, a really long lingering vanilla sweetness. It's really, really good. And then kind of underlying that, you have that really nice oak flavor, that deep, dark oak flavor. That one's really good. Well, considering how different the noses are in these, I'm really curious how the flavor is, so let's find out. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the Russells. Cheers. Oh man, that's so good. It's amazing the difference between the two, where you get such a nice spicy rye kick with this one, where this one has some really nice rounded out fruit flavors. This one is bringing a toasted cinnamon stick vibe to it. Finished with a long oak. Such a, on the finish, I'm getting this amazing vanilla cherry almond flavor. Man, that's good. Really good. All right, I'm gonna go in for a second sip of this one. Oh, I just got, mm, got a really nice uh, chocolate note there on the end. That's really nice. And some of that, that, uh, that fired up orange peel I was talking about earlier, I'm getting that a little bit on the finish too to go along with the chocolate, so almost like a chocolate covered orange. That's really nice. Man, both are so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into these again, taste it, and let you guys know what flavors came out on top and how the finish is. So here we go. Mm. That's the rare breed. The finish is that nice, really deep, dark oak flavor, which I just love. It's got a really nice cinnamon spice kick, a lot of oak. But beyond all that, it leaves a really, really nice vanilla sweetness to it. I just can't get enough of it. That is so good. All right, on to the Russells. Cheers. Yeah, it's crazy how different it is. But, so the Russells gives you a long finish as well, but this one is all Christmas cake flavors a lot of that orange, cherry, and almond is just kind of coating my whole palate. It's so good. And then that finish on the end with that little bit of chocolate and orange, that's what's kind of putting it over the top for me, I think, a little bit. That is so good. Wow. Two really great bourbons from Wild Turkey, and I think both of these can offer drinkers everywhere something different. 
All right, so which one came out on top for me? Even though these are both amazing bourbons and I love them both, I think for me, it's gotta be Russell's Reserve. Russell's Reserve for me offers a much more rounded out drinking experience with some really nice flavors. Just the depth of flavor on this to me, it just offers a little bit more flavor wise than the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. So even though the Rare Breed is also delicious, I think this one offers definitely more flavor, more of a robust mouthfeel, and also the, the finish on is what got me. That chocolate orange finish is just amazing. So I would have to go with that one for me personally. Now, I think if you're a Wild Turkey 101 fan, which a lot of people are, and so am I, I think you definitely need to try the Rare Breed because of the amped up flavors that you're getting in this bottle compared to Wild Turkey 101. Wild Turkey 101 is basically in this bottle, but the flavors are so amped up and just delicious and much more cinnamon and that alligator char and that oak is, is amazing because it's so sweet yet so oaky at the same time, which is just a really striking balance to have. The Russell's Reserve, I think for drinkers that want something a little bit on the fruitier side, something with a little bit more depth of flavor. I think Russell's Reserve will definitely fit that profile to you. It's really up to you. So in conclusion, if you like, if you're a huge, huge fan of Wild Turkey 101, you definitely need to try this. The Rare Breed, I think will really hit a sweet spot for you because of those amped up flavors. Russell's Reserve gives you a much more depth of flavor and in my opinion, a much more rounded out bourbon experience. You know, when they go in and they select those barrels to be bottled for Russell's Reserve, I think they do a great job and they also keep it pretty consistent from all the different Russells that I've had. Hey guys, well thanks for joining me here in the Master and Drum Whiskey Room today. Really appreciate it. Always a lot of fun. Please let me know down in the comments which one of these two would you pick. Uh, always like chatting with you guys. If you haven't already, please find me on Instagram. And also now you can find me on Twitter, which has been a lot of fun as well. Really appreciate you guys watching. And before we go, like I always say, it is not about the whiskey, it is the people you share it with. So cheers everyone. I'm going to drink some more Russell's Reserve. Take care.